Hey, orange one here. So we, uh, oh, actually, those dudes just, like, turned around. Oh, awesome. I was really worried that I was going to have to get rid of, like, my whole party trying to fight these guys. Hey, if they attack those villagers, um, I don't know. I might want to dive into the combat. I don't want to do it just quite yet, but who knows? I mean, 12 units, uh... It's mostly infantry. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like they're just actually, they're not even going for the villagers. They're just trying to run by. Or no, hold on. They are actually attacking the villagers. Um, I would like to catch you. Yeah, you're not getting out of here, guys. You're uh, running from me now. So, uh, guess what? We're going to stay nearby and hopefully get involved in the siege, but maybe chase you down. I don't know. I think I'm moving actually faster than you. Just about 6.0, 6.1. Yeah, I can catch you. I don't know about your bro. But uh, yeah, we can definitely capture this guy. Yep, we're going to fight you. And we've got like three times as many units, so I think that we'll be okay, but we just gotta be kind of careful. I think it's probably the noble on the horse right there. Yeah. Probably what we got. Whoa, he's uh, he's quick there. Um. <laughs> well, one of our archers got him. That really was not a challenge at all. Oh. Yep, turn around. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have been even worried about these guys. Now, looking back on it, at the end of the last episode, I was kind of freaking out. Oh, I got a ton of gold there. Uh, Yeah, we'll take you prisoner. And hopefully, we can... Uh, I'm just going to keep the noble prisoner. I don't want the other prisoners. Hopefully... We can capture the city, and now that you guys have been kind of routed, got a good feeling that um, we might stand a chance. Yeah, this uh, we might be able to catch this dude. I don't know. Nah, probably not. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to pursue, in the off chance that us healing up gets us fast enough. Oh look, I think we actually are gonna have this dude. We might miss the siege of the city, though. Okay, let's stop worrying about just some dude and let's get up to the city. Hopefully I haven't waited too long. 283. Um, I'm going to just join the army. We'll just kind of watch. Um, I might leave and actually attack the um, those looters. But they are also going to be patrolling around Ortizia. Oh, actually, no, that's our, our uh, territory now, guys. Uh, you can't be patrolling there. Sorry. Off limits. Um, we are kind of hurting. I think I'm going to actually play this out myself just so that our units don't get uh, hurt too bad. Well, actually, you know, the auto actually tends to resolve this pretty favorably when you got comparable number of people. Yeah, we didn't even lose anyone. Cool. <laughs> it's funny how that gives you, like, two renown, and the other thing that we did earlier gave us, like, six. So going and killing that group of bandits right there apparently gave me, like, just as much renown as a number of our deeds that we've done in the past. I'm going to join this army. I believe we get, um, influence being in the army. I'm not sure though. Uh, share your food with soldiering. Oh yeah, so we got some influence there. Yeah, from feeding uh, the starving army. I thought I might have seen that in a previous episode. So that's why I was kind of looking at it. Am I, was it me or it might have been me watching someone else? Because I do watch some other people uh, playing this game. It's always good for me. It helps me learn more. Can't see that stuff. Okay, we have uh, 
We've recovered a fair amount of troops. Good. Looks like we're healing up pretty nicely, too. Okay, it looks like we're attacking. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'm down. They, they're vastly outnumbered. I think they've got like 100 people or something compared to our nearly 400. So we're going to take this city. There's very little doubt in my mind that we'll take this city. What concerns me is what is Vlandia going to do after um, we take the city? And if we're going to be able to hold this or not. Oh man, that music. Come on. Let's get it. We're about to take a city. I mean, it seems a little bit excessive seeing how they only have a defense of 100 people. But... It's, uh... Well, what was that? Did you hear that? Was that a trebuchet or something? I'm looking up at the ballistas. I'm not... I don't see anyone on this one. That one might have someone on it. I'm not sure. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that I need to be careful about. I could uh, ruin my day. I like how the archers come up here. They take like a natural position that's like a good spot for them. Okay, I do see some archers up there, but if I stop, I'm gonna get shot. Let's go over... Wow, they even take cover under the bridge? That is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that... Oh, they just uh, took out the dude I was aiming at. It's a good problem to have, I suppose. Uh, this ombre, I bet I can get. Oh, you're aiming at me, actually. Maybe I should... If he's aiming at me, maybe I shouldn't be trying my luck a little so much. Oh, there we go. Nope. There. That's what I'm looking for. And this dude... I gotta get... Oh, there's a lot of people running by me all of a sudden. Looks like they're moving in. Looks like... Yeah, the tower is pretty much there. Can I get that dude? Yes, I can. Oh, I almost got him. I thought for a minute they was going to take aim at me. Oh, I got another dude there. Nice. I love the archery in this game, as you can tell. It's really fun, especially during the sieges. Being able to take shots like that, for me, is just, like, incredibly rewarding. You know, like those long-range shots. Uh, there's some dudes up there that are being not very nice. Not to my troops, at least. Oh. I don't know. I th I'm, like, having a hard time seeing in there because of the, the dark. I'm gonna get my shield out because someone could just, like, take a pot shot at us from the little, uh, holes there. Um, can I? Whoa. <laughs> Alright. I kind of would like to provide some cover to my dudes. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Not from here. Not really. Okay. I think I need to try and get in there. Are people dropping things on us? No. Oh, there's a ton of them right there. Why are we not charging in? I think they probably are charging in. I just... Yeah. Got here before we did. Oh, sorry. Maybe I should be a little bit more careful. Um, I need to be careful because there's gonna be uh, some dudes that try and flank. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about storming the the castle. Do I want to go in here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's, there's dudes in here. Yeah. That was actually pretty cool. I like that. This is a cool little spot. And I actually liked how the units used it. It's 
Interesting there. That was cool. Wow, look at this. That is cool. <laughs> I'm glad that we're actually able to be a part of the fighting this time. In this castle. Uh, I like how it actually has like the dynamic lighting. Yeah, if we could charge in there, that'd be great. God, that was that was actually super fun. I think that was one of the more, the more fun sieges where I got to actually hit people, you know. Oh, I gotta be a little bit. Whoa, hello. Interesting. That looks like that's it. Cool. All right. Very nice. We have been blessed, apparently. Nice. Yeah, I mean, why not, you know, why not take those prisoners, get a little bit of money for this? Yeah, so I, it's kind of hard um, for me because for Dan, I did not anticipate for him to become this, like, soldier in the, the army. Um, but it just kind of happened that way. I mean, I wanted him to be a merchant and eventually go into the army, but I was thinking it was going to be much later. Like, after he was much richer. I mean, I I don't really think we need to be much more rich, but, um, yeah. It's, it's interesting, you know. Interesting how I'm having to kind of react to what the world has decided for our character. Uh, let me just get rid of all of that. Um, same. Oh, I heard about passive shields. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but someone was saying that this was, like, you can set them up in, like, set your crossbow behind there and then just like tag people using your crossbow it's pretty sweet actually um pretty smart yeah let's give this guy our our better mittens there and we can get rid of everything else yeah cool god war makes so much money i thought trade made like a ton of money but no it's really it's all about war if you want to if you really want to make cash yeah i will definitely pay for some mercenary horsemen that's like perfect that's exactly what i'm looking for as long as it's not thugs basically i i kind of am starting to hate thugs being in the bars I wonder if you uh, lower the crime in the city, if maybe the number of thugs goes down and you get more mercenaries or something. I mean, it's I can guarantee you that's not how it works, but it's how it should. Okay, so there's 300, and we're leaving how many here? 44 dudes. What's your game plan? Traveling to Montos? What's Montos? I don't I don't see where this Montos place is. I think myself, I'm going to try and recoup my numbers with some more mercenaries, just like kind of jumping from, oh, wait, they're getting those people there. I think we're going to just try and bolster our numbers and then continue. Uh, I don't know if we should be raiding at this point or if we should be trying to take out lords. I think we should be trying to go for our enemy lords. Um, I could be really overstepping. Um, let's see. It's kind of weird when they spawn with like no hair at all. It throws me off. Okay, well that is a really good helmet. Um, I thought we had a really good one ourselves, but this looks like that's even better. <laughs> wow. I think at this point it's safe to say that we've got uh like end game we've like reached the end game you know yeah oh man we we can almost afford that i mean it, it does like hardly any more damage but i am actually pretty excited about that if i get rid of our ill-gotten goods i bet we could afford that Maybe not. Uh, keep a few dates. 
yeah, we're we're still a little ways away. We'll we'll save up for that. Um, there are a lot of looters around here. Can I recruit any people here? Yeah, I know the battalions probably are not going to be very keen on uh, working for me, but we're okay. I actually have 60-something troops, it's just they're all hurt. Probably should wait for them to be healed up before we go off and, and uh, fight people, but we can get the experience for the people that can still fight and then maybe we'll rest up. Yeah, I think... You, let me know what you guys think Radon should do. Should he raid, or do you think that, like, um, the trauma is too much of his own experience with raiding? I mean, I know that the... the cast set it up with that as your ge generic thing, but I actually kind of like it as the story, so I'm gonna roll with it as Radan's story. But right now, I think he's, uh, he's starting to see, like, the faces of his, uh, parents on the um the villagers and the looters here he he's definitely still got like a righteous hatred for them and any bandits um but he's probably got some issues with himself yeah i don't looters are just like they're not worth it honestly and honestly their items aren't even worth going into the city to return um Oh, we're actually at peace with the Batanians. The Batanians have one last city. Uh, is it under siege? I bet it's gonna... If it's not under siege, I bet it will be soon. I'm gonna basically just bounce between cities here and try and get a few more mercenaries and let our party recover a little bit. And then... Um, we'll see. Probably just gonna end up... Uh, what I would like to do is stop raiding villages because that's going to make our life a lot harder later on. Not to mention it doesn't really match with our roleplay character. Um, but I th what I would really like to do is send in like my elite team of mercenaries and like tier five units into the deep enemy territory and just like destroy um, lords as they're trying to recover. Um, and just kind of like hit them hard and quick, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, let's get in here. And we'll see what we can do from here. Got, okay, so there's people leaving our kingdom. I guess the tavern. I would like also some more companions there okay with raiding. I probably should switch them out sooner rather than later. Yeah, um, what about the troop? Oh, wow, there's nobody available here to be recruited. Um, yeah. I think what I probably am going to do is go up to the... No, we're, there's no chance we're going to be much help to the war effort all the way up there, so we'll kind of come down here and we'll maybe see if we can, yes, like attack something like that. See, that's what I was looking for. Now, ideally, we can kind of cut them off, yeah, and kind of make them run away from where they wanted to go. Oh, there's villagers also up over there. I'm thinking, and I, you know, maybe this is a bad idea. I'm thinking we probably want to have our units recover more before we go off and attack caravans and whatnot. We'll just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It seems to me like I should probably just rest up, like, see if I can go into this Northern Empire uh, castle or something and just kind of rest in there. They probably won't let me in, though, is the thing. Like, I could ask them if I could go in, but they probably wouldn't want to let me in. I think I do want to attack this caravan. Yeah, let's uh, catch up to them. 4.3. Actually, we're, we might not even be able to go fast enough to catch them. How are we doing? Where, where are they going? Is really what I should be asking. Oh, look, there's a lord right there. Um, I should probably back off then. 
because they could probably catch me after I attack the caravan. Um, yeah. We gotta do this, you know, as much as I know Rodan probably hates this, um, he also recognizes that we're at war against a superior nation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, we lost three people there. Huh. Okay, I think... Let's just kind of take a second to assess where we are. We could make our way back down to there while going through this territory that's controlled by the enemy. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll see if we can maybe heal up a little bit. I mean, this, this group's got... I was thinking, should I attack or just kind of move through? Ooh, look at this. How fast are you? If I can catch that, that looks like a, a nice... Um, uh, there is also a party in there that may jump out. Yeah. That's what I thought might happen. They're going to try and maybe defend the caravan. I'm just going to let time pass a little bit and see what they end up doing. Um, and actually, I might want to attack the Lord. Oh, whoops. I just failed that quest. Let's see, what are your units? Vlan you got 10 Vlandian recruits. Okay. Yeah, we really should attack that. That's... There's not much uh, decision making that I have to do there. If they've got 10 Vlandian recruits, it doesn't really matter how good their other troops are. Those 10 units basically don't count, in my mind. And we don't have... 10 recruits and we've got seven more people and I mean you do have 14 cavalry what are the cavalry light cavalry you do have three champions you got six gallons there is a fair amount of cavalry there I think that we can take them the fact that they're running away from me also leads me to believe that this is a good fight for us to be getting into yeah. I really don't care if you don't want to fight me. I want to fight you. And given the numbers that we've got, if I am not dumb... Sergeants in charge! Then I can, um, myself, actually... Infantry! After me! Poor soldiers! Follow me! Horsemen, come with me. We're gonna try and neutralize their horsemen as best we can. Yeah, I think that's probably a good call, is getting our horse against their horses. Come over here. Yep, come over. Soldiers, follow your soldiers. And now I'm gonna let my horsemen kind of do their thing. Okay, I think this is probably a pretty good setup for me. Fight-wise. Oh, come on. I'm faster. I've got a nice desert horse. That's why I'm able to catch these dudes. I'm not able to turn though, unfortunately, very quickly. So I need to like basically come in and then strike and then get out of here. But it lends itself pretty well to fighting them. Especially if I'm just trying to shoot their horses and not trying to go for them. If I try and go for them though, I can hit them. Okay, come here. Oh. There we go. There's one of the gallons down. Okay. Where are the others? There's one right there that I can see. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, missed. Oh, I didn't think I was going to hit that. Oh, did I get him again? There we go. Yeah, these horsemen are really their, the Vlandian's biggest strength. And so if we can counter them, then we're fine. And the sergeant, I don't know what they're doing, but they should be doing like a shield wall or something. 
and they should be able to counter this pretty well. Uh, where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there you are. Come on. There we go. Oh, that was the Lord. Lord v. Lord, right? Okay, I don't have any more arrows, unfortunately, but I can harass. And... Oh, that's not just harassing. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. Yep. Look at that. That was pretty good combat. We oh wait, hold on, what? I had no idea it went that well. I knew it went well, but Okay. See, this is what I wanted to do. Get in there, get an enemy territory, and take Lord's prisoner. We gotta stay light though, if we're gonna do this. And if we can actually capture lords and then deliver them into prisons like down here, man, that, you know, it's it's kind of like the strategy that people use of trying to kill the enemy lords. Um, I might, there's a number of caravans and other stuff that seems to go by here. Is that dude, how are you doing? You got 15 recruits, I might see. Defending Tavil. I might see... Yeah, he's running from me. Which probably means I probably want to attack him. Again, my party is... Healing up, but... It's a pretty good sign if someone's running away from you. Right? Hopefully we can level up a little bit, though. And hopefully there's not going to be, hopefully we're not going to run ourselves into a situation where we end up getting outnumbered or something. Oh, the Asari got taken prisoner by the Blandians. So they've just gone and crushed us in the field somewhere. Okay, well we might be losing Legata or something. Um, do I want to attack this guy? Yeah, I think I do. The last fight went so well. We'll finish this uh, this episode with this fight. Everyone, take over command. Infantry. Well, we'll do the same Mountain thing. Archers. Follow me. Archers and Put cavalry. Me. Move. Follow me. Yeah, you guys don't charge in, please. Oh, look, they've split the cavalry for us. That's perfect. We can we can do that. We'll try and loop our guys around their cav. Uh, hold on, let's... Yeah, I don't know what that dude is. Those dudes, those five dudes are doing up there, but they're probably gonna die. Uh, we'll not go straight into the infantry. Kind of loop around here a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna let them kind of do their thing. Mostly because I want to hunt. I'm in I'm in that mood where I want to take shots at horsemen. Yeah, I could take out your horse, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, not necessary. Uh, where are the other horsemen? I don't see too many. Oh, it says they're over there. Okay, let's get in there. There's a couple of them in here. Okay. There we go. Come on. Nope, that was not gonna... Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, well. Good thing I got a lot of arrows, huh? Okay, yeah, you wanna, you wanna play that game? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Now I'm, I just had one of those moments where I realized I was talking trash to a, an AI. It's not even doing like the best it could be doing. <laughs> like that. That's like not a how you uh, counter horse archers. <laughs> okay. That, that guy right up there. I've got five arrows left. I think we can take out one of them, maybe two of them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, too far away. I don't know. If he's running away, I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch him. He's... I think I am catching up ever so slightly. Oh. He's going to get one of my guys. Oh. Nope. Never mind. He got wrecked. Oh. I honestly was just trying to get the force. Oh. There that guy goes. Nice. Okay, I think we're just totally doing nice work right now. Like, this is what we want to do to keep the Vlandians down. Like, we didn't even lose anyone there. If we just maintain our, like, really well-trained army and we just, like, go around running around capturing these dudes, um, that might be enough to turn, uh, turn the tide. I don't know, though. I really don't. We could just also be um, preventing the inevitable. Yeah, they've gone and taken Legetta. I had a feeling that that was going to happen. That actually might have been what happened that caused um, all those guys to get captured. Now, I'm also wondering how much of a difference I could have made myself as an army of just 40 people in that siege. I do honestly think it's probably a wise move to... Um, actually, you know what? Let's, let's just get the um, the quest thing done. You took 12 heads. Okay. Good job. A little collector. You know, some people do post stamps. But, you know, to each their own, right? Okay, so there's another army that's been created. We've been kind of going back and forth with them over there. I'm wondering if I, yeah, I think we're just going to travel kind of through the countryside and see what opportunities present themselves to us in terms of looting and whatnot. Um, I mean, this this actually is a pretty nice opportunity, and it's grain. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.